Today we're going to talk about a caulking on our video. We're going to talk about the best caulking to use and the methodology. I'm Dan Frost, HDF Painting, the fine art of painting, and this is Top Shop with Frost. So first I want to answer some questions that we frequently get from our clients about caulking. The first question is, what's the difference between caulking and sealants? Well, sealants are usually clear and have a lot of silicone in them, and they don't paint well. They won't hold paint well. Caulking usually, it has a little bit of silicone, but it's modified, and it has a color to it. We typically use mostly white, but you can also get in a beige and, and darker colors. The second question people ask is, why use caulking? Well, if you have uh, a transition from a wall to a trim board, there's usually a crack or a line there. You want to caulk that, make it nice and smooth so you get a real clean look. You also use it around windows so you get some weather maybe coming in. Caulking will help there. And in between joints on trim, if you caulk that, it makes a nice clean look. The third question we hear a lot about is how much does caulking cost? Well, a good tube of caulking ranges from $3 to $5, depending on the area you're in. And the last questions we get, frequently get is, can I caulk over old caulking? Well, old caulking usually is brittle, has cracked a bit, and is coming out. So you don't want to go over that. You want to dig it out to apply the new caulking. So next, we're going to go over the key components of a caulking job. Okay, so for the next section of this video, we're going to go over the four key components to a successful caulking job. And as you can see, we decided to come outside because it's a beautiful day, and we're going to show you how we use the caulking on exterior. Um, you can also use the interior, but we're going to show you the exterior. So the first key component is you have to select the right caulking gun. Now, it should be dripless, and this one is uh, distributed by All Pro. It's called the ETS 2000. It has a yellow distinctive body here. The components of this caulking gun, it has a plunger here that you can press into an old tube of caulking that's dried out. It also has a slot here that you put the tube of caulking in to cut it at the angle. Okay. Uh, the second key component is cutting the caulking tube at the right angle. It should be about 45 degrees and it shouldn't be more than half an inch. I like to do it at about a quarter of an inch at a 45 degree angle be perfect okay the third key component is you need a bucket of water and a rag a damp rag because once you put the cock in on as you'll see you need to wipe it right away to get a nice tight fit all right and the fourth key component is to buy the right caulking now for the painting business we um, select these two brands here and it's white so you can paint over it the tower sealants it's a modified silicone acrylic it's got a 50-year guarantee on it, very flexible, and you can paint it in 30 minutes, okay? We also use the White Lightning Bolt. It's paintable in 30 minutes, has a 50-year guarantee, and it's very flexible, crack-resistant, and um, it, um, it resists mold and mildew. It's a really good caulking. Okay, so now that we've shown you how to do the caulking, it's like, where do you want to do the caulking, okay? Uh, on the outside, uh, you want to do it between um, the trim board and siding, around windows, around doors, anywhere where there is a gap that's a quarter inch or less. Okay, that's really key. Uh, on the inside, same thing, anywhere between the trim and the walls or the uh, trim and the ceiling, if you have a molding, around doors and around windows if there's a gap. Okay, and you should be all set. So the last thing I want to say about caulking is, like any painting endeavor, there's three things you should really be aware of. Number one is have the right tools and the best tools. Number two, methods. Know the method that you're going to be using. And number three, take your time, okay? And then it's relatively easy. This is Dan Frost from HDF Painting, the fine art of painting, and this is Talk Shop with Frost.